Welcome to Vision of China. In the face of Western economic dominance, BRICS nations are stepping up efforts to create an independent financial infrastructure that could challenge the established order. The rise of alternative payment systems like Mbridge threatens the hegemony of the U.S. dollar, and Western powers are scrambling to respond. As you read on, consider how BRICS initiatives might shape a new financial landscape, free from Western control. Western allies are increasingly concerned about the growing influence of the BRICS bloc, especially as it pushes forward with alternative payment systems that challenge the dominance of the U.S. dollar. Senior banking officials and financial executives from the Bank for International Settlements recently discussed the potential shutdown of the Enbridge project during a meeting in Washington. This move follows statements by Russian President Vladimir Putin at the BRICS summit in Kazan, where he proposed creating an international payment system led by BRICS nations as an alternative to Western-controlled mechanisms. The Enbridge project, operated by the central banks of China, Thailand, the UAE, and Hong Kong, with Saudi Arabia joining as a new member this year, uses distributed ledger technology to enable faster cross-border payments by eliminating intermediary banks. The Bank of China recently became the first commercial bank in Hong Kong to connect with the Enbridge system, successfully completing the first fully automated cross-border remittance for corporate clients. This development marks a significant milestone for Enbridge as it aims to address current cross-border payment challenges through central bank digital currencies and innovative solutions. BOC Hong Kong's integration into the Enbridge platform represents a significant advancement in transaction efficiency, paving the way for 24-7 cross-border payments. The automated system allows eligible clients to process inbound and outbound remittances seamlessly contributing to a major technological leap in cross-border payment systems. Since its inception, BOC Hong Kong has been actively involved in Enbridge, engaging in various cross-border transactions, such as liquidity management, foreign exchange settlements, and remittances. These activities have not only showcased the capabilities of Enbridge, but also demonstrated the potential benefits of a more efficient, decentralized financial system that sidesteps traditional limitations. The BRICS bloc, composed of some of the world's fastest-growing economies, is reshaping the global order. During the recent BRICS summit, 13 new countries, including Thailand and Indonesia, joined as partners, signaling the bloc's rising influence. This expansion poses a direct challenge to the dominance of the Western financial system, especially the U.S. dollar's hegemony. If the dollar's influence declines, Western economies face considerable risks prompting a strong response from Western financial institutions. Reports suggest that the BS is considering shutting down the Enbridge project, an independent payment system that does not rely on Western banks or SWIFT. Powered by central bank digital currencies, this system directly challenges the U.S. dollar's dominance. Russia, which has been advocating for mechanisms to bypass Western sanctions, views Enbridge as a vital tool to support global de-dollarization. Russia's involvement in developing the technology behind Enbridge has raised alarm at the BS, which is now considering measures to counter it. Enbridge is designed as a blockchain-powered platform that allows secure, cross-border transactions between BRICS central banks without external oversight. Through Enbridge, China, the UAE, Thailand, and Saudi Arabia can conduct trade without relying on SWIFT, thereby bypassing Western scrutiny and reducing their dependence on the U.S. dollar. The system weakens the effectiveness of sanctions, as Western nations lose visibility over transactions in the global south. The increasing adoption of Enbridge by BRICS members further illustrates their commitment to creating a resilient financial network that challenges Western norms. U.S. Senator Marco Rubio recently highlighted the potential consequences of Enbridge success. He noted that Brazil, the largest country in the Western Hemisphere south of the United States, has already begun trading with China using their own currencies, bypassing the dollar. Rubio warned that the growing use of bilateral currencies would soon render U.S. sanctions ineffective. With over half of global trade settled in dollars, the United States' ability to impose effective sanctions relies on the currency's dominance. A shift away from the dollar could significantly alter global financial power dynamics, fundamentally reshaping how international trade and finance operate. 
The head of the BS recently hinted that the organization would limit its involvement to countries that comply with U.S. regulations, suggesting that support for the BRICS payment system might end. He stated, We cannot directly support any project for the BRICS. We cannot operate with countries that are subject to sanctions, implying that G7 financial sanctions, particularly against Russia, would influence BS decisions. Russia was not originally a participant in Enbridge. The initial participants included China, Hong Kong, Thailand, and the UAE, with Saudi Arabia joining later. The inclusion of Saudi Arabia is particularly noteworthy, as it signifies the growing willingness of key regional players to align with BRICS initiatives. The West is deeply concerned about the possibility of unrestricted trade between Russia and the global South through a system that bypasses the US dollar and the euro. During the BRICS summit, Putin proposed creating a BRICS bridge based on Enbridge technology, a secure network capable of conducting instant transactions without using US intermediary banks. Such a system could facilitate trillions of dollars in trade within the BRICS block without relying on dollar-based mechanisms. While Russia is cited as a reason for potentially shutting down Enbridge, the real target appears to be China. The broader economic rivalry between the United States and China is driving Washington to take action to prevent the Enbridge system from coming online. Despite ongoing trade tensions, China's exports continue to grow, with a trade surplus of nearly $860 billion in 2022. If Enbridge allows trade to be settled in Chinese RMB instead of dollars, Western influence over Chinese trade could diminish significantly, a scenario that the U.S. wants to avoid. The G7 strategy appears to be focused on keeping China and BRICS firmly within the existing financial system to maintain Beijing's dependence on the West. The dollarization has far-reaching consequences. As more countries use bilateral currencies for trade, demand for U.S. Treasury bonds declines. With an additional $550 billion in bonds expected to be issued in the final quarter of the year, Reduced foreign demand for U.S. bonds could place further strain on American finances, increasing the risk of default. The potential for a weakened U.S. financial position underscores why Western powers are eager to stifle alternatives like Enbridge before they gain too much traction. The Enbridge system, if successful, could help BRICS members move away from dollar transactions, representing a profound threat to the current financial order. The ability of BRICS countries to trade in local currencies would reduce the need to hold U.S. bonds as reserves. Even if the BS halts Enbridge, the global momentum towards de-dollarization may already be too strong to stop. As more nations explore and adopt these alternatives, the traditional dominance of Western financial instruments may become increasingly obsolete. Recent developments indicate an accelerating trend towards de-dollarization. Earlier this year, Hong Kong launched the first digital RMB payment pilot outside mainland China, enabling residents to use digital RMB wallets for payments directly to Chinese merchants. This pilot represents a significant step in bypassing Western banks and integrating more BRICS nations into the RMB network. Major banks, including HSBC, have also joined China's interbank RMB payment system, which operates outside U.S. control. These actions are not isolated. They reflect a broader shift in global finance where emerging economies are asserting greater autonomy. Even if China were to be excluded from the dollar system, it appears the country could continue to thrive as other BRICS countries and some Western banks join alternative networks. The BIS's attempt to halt Enbridge may end up accelerating the shift away from the dollar. Rising demand for gold, as central banks purchase more in response to declining trust in dollar assets, further highlights the changing financial landscape. Western efforts to block Enbridge might ultimately promote the development of new systems to bypass the dollar, potentially leading to a more fragmented, but also more resilient global financial system. The BRICS summit underscored the bloc's coordination to ensure trade beyond Western oversight and the growing interest of other countries in joining BRICS demonstrates a desire for alternatives to the Western financial system. Destroying the Enbridge system may inadvertently strengthen the movement toward a multipolar world. The question remains, can the West truly stop Enbridge? And if they do, will it backfire? The implications for the future of global trade are profound, 
and the world is watching closely. What do you think about the West's attempts to halt the Enbridge system? Are these measures justified? Or do they reflect a deeper fear of losing economic control?